Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Gecko Models latest release. This is a 135th scale British ATMP Wimmick or the airborne one. So basically this is the armed all-terrain vehicle. Great bit of kit. We have seen it in different guises but this time it's actually got the gun platform and all the sort of armour bits on this one as you can see. So nice bit of box art as always right the way onto this one and then down on here you can see some of the niceties of this kit so we've got a lovely bit of photo etched down in there decals we'd expect we also get a driver figure as well which will really make this and obviously make it pop and come together kit number for this one is a 35gm0019 and then again down on here some of the little details down in there. So it's turned it into very much a gun platform now, which is quite nice. In the box itself, we have, let me get into it. Still trying to get in it. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we have it. We have a box within a box. All oh, right, okay. So we're a little bit modular, as you can see. We've got Ziploc bags with various things. So we've got some wheels. We've got bags of tires, you can see down in there. We've got other parts, which looks like that's like cans and stuff. That's fair enough. We've got the figure down in there. And then obviously got Bergens and body armor and things it looks like down in there. And we've got some weapons. Uh, and then down in here, we've got some more of the smaller things. So I think you can see wing mirrors in there and various bits. We'll have a look at those in a moment. They've got the crispy bits back again. Uh, so again, more armor. There's lots of weapons in this uh, and the various parts for the actual unit itself. Then we've got the hull, the actual meat of it and the top deck and things like that. That's fair enough. And we've got a very, very small clear part just for a couple of headlights. Uh, on there as you can see just down in that so that's fair enough then we got a little booklet and then last but no means least we have the photo etch bits which we'll look at at the moment so in the little booklet we've got some details obviously about the vehicle itself and then the usual thing we've actually got the parts tree layouts and all the rest of it and then straight on into it so again very nice detailed CAD design in here in color as well showing you exactly how this is to be going together so we've got that sort of lower hull section all the parts being added into it and as you can see we're using photo etch grills straight away and bow to etch uh, handles and things like that and we're making up eye beams and this type of like, the thing down in here as well so a nice detailed kit straight off of the bat moving right the way through again we've got more of the photo etch making up some of the, the various details on this one grills again and then adding everything in so it's very detailed so we have obviously got the sort of running gears as well as the pedals and everything like that we've got speedos being fitted in into here we've got the handlebar system and all the various parts as you can see more photo etch being added as well which is really nice for the checkerboard on the top plate and then obviously add in all of these right the way through so we've got all the stowage containers obviously this is the armed version and it's an airborne version so it's going to be being dropped out of vehicles and underslung and things like that so it all needs to be properly strapped in so we said a lot of the holders being fitted down into this one photo etch harnesses as you can see spare wheels things like that being fitted down into here and then all the gear running across again with all the straps so we've got the photo etch and then we've got the ratchet straps making up the tap uh, the top on those which is another nice touch lots of fuel and water containers as you might imagine we've got the roll bars we've got actually some smoke discharges being fitted down onto here and then obviously we've got the turret system being fitted down in and then obviously the mounting roof mounting again stowage for ammunition right the way around this thing so you can see once this is made up it's actually quite a, a lot of gear on here so fuel and water various things ammunition smoke discharges obviously being then fitted your harnesses through to the roll cage and then carrying on with all the other details right the way through for all the other mounting points so again we've got the forward firing gun as well so it looks like we've got a 50 down in there and then obviously all the parts going alongside with those ones and some type of gpmg down in here on the front so again lots of this stuff then we've got that hub system with the wheels being fitted into this one it is mentioning about not gluing so we're assuming they are somewhat rollable uh, those being fitted in and then obviously down on the other side which then completes it nice detailed uh, uh, color guide down in here uh, so again it's talking about the MTP uh, pattern onto this one and then obviously putting it on so there you go I've got you on all the Bergens and bits and pieces the weapon so we've got the L82 and obviously the one with the grenade launcher down underneath there as well and the different ones uh, and again DTPM down in there the old school version and obviously the more newer one above it as well right the way through the vehicle itself is pretty much OD right the way through and again picking out all the various instruments there's a couple of obviously decals down in here for the instrument panel 
panel on the various things, number plates, you name it, it's got it. And that's your vehicle. You wouldn't believe something so complicated as this is in such a small package. So that gives you a good idea of the level of detail you're actually going to be seeing with this particular kit. So down in here we have nice little zip bags and we can have a look at the checker plate. I always think checker plate's one of those ones where you can tell good photo etch away. But to start with, let's have a look at the decals. And again, right way up, there we go. Nothing flash, but to be honest, it's just service and a purpose. You've got multi numbers down in here, so you could do sort of pretty much any registration you like off of this one uh, if you wanted to as well. So it's got it down there's 50, but you've got your numbers down in here to do any version of that you wanted to. So if you've been driving one of these rounds, you can do the one you did again. And then we've got the photo etch harnesses, all the various parts on there, and the grill work, as you can see, so that's really nice. And then obviously these retaining areas, so that's pretty good. And here it is, the checkered, which actually, that looks very, very nice. So sometimes the photo etch, it can look more like a wicker basket than checker plate. I think that works, that looks all right. That's nice, that is very good indeed. Okay, so that's those two. Right, let's get couple of these little tiny things out of the way just so we can have a look at them. So down in here we've got the headlights and I think this is the mirrors. Back to the mirrors you can see in those so not too much going on there which is fair enough. Again so if we start in the one and only little crispy bag here you can see the lower hull and the various parts and again when you put it down in here you can see you've got gorgeous raised rivet heads all the way across on all of this as you might imagine a lot of the smaller details as well very nicely done down on here but this is going to be sort of like you know built up with all the other bits instrument panels front and rear plates things like that and then down here on the back side as you can see looking pretty darn good but you're going to be building on this this is just the platform and everything's going to come out out the bottom so that's very nice again i think this is the roll frame your sort of roll cage with some of the other parts down in here so again we've got the actual on sprue b here really nice details again gecko stuff's always really good dependable reliable stuff there's not a great deal to be honest of the burring either between the the layers on the the round parts for the actual roll bars and things like that so that's pretty good no real flash that i can see either I haven't seen a sink mark or anything else like that. So generally, looking pretty darn sharp. Ejector pins are all very shallow and just tucked out of the way neatly. So that's good. And then down in here, we've got some of the weapons. So we sort of got the GPMG, the 50 cal, and the various things down in here, as you can see. So that's pretty standard on both of those. And then down in here, we've got some more of the other small bits. This must be a BC. So they're sort of doing B, A, B, and Cs as well. So spare wheel, I assume, the hub for that up there. Some of the other smaller bits and pieces, maybe exhaust and things down in here as well. And again, very nicely detailed on the back side, which is very good. Right, now we're into all of these bags. So what we do, we just work our way through in sort of sections with these. Get them out. Okay, so we have got some match pairs as you might expect. So we've got two of these. So the first thing is looks like it's a seat cushion, some various other items down in here, as you can see, but again, very nice and sharp. Uh, right the way through, crisp details on all of those. That's very nice. So we've got two of those. We've got one of these, which is some more of the interior for the vehicle, I do believe. So that's pretty nice. So obviously I think in handlebars down in here and things like that nice good clean detail on all of those and then down in here we've got another match pair so we've got one blind side and one top side so again really very nice indeed so that's all good so that's one of the bags so then in another one of the bags we have this is bergens and the like so we've got the driver and his legs his torso things like that again really nice as a little bit of a, a burr line down in front of these but that's just going to be a quick scrape off a couple of choices with heads so again we've got goggles on goggles off with this various stuff so that's pretty nice and then down in here we've got the plating for the actual bergens and the various bits and pieces 
little bit of flash down on this sprue. It's one of their older generic ones, I assume, that's been floating around doing everything. But we've got your knee pads down in here. This is that type of equipment you can have just strewn around the back of the vehicle, things like that. Does need a little bit of clean up. It's a little bit of flash on all of those parts. Then again, we've got more Bergens, helmets, gear, right the way through, camel packs, usual things, as you might expect. Again, a little bit of flash down here on the camel packs, but again, I think these ones here are the generic ones that they tend to throw in with every kit. So it's quite nice to have a lot of these, and we get two of those. We've got lots of stowage item with there, but uh, I think it may be showing it sold. So we've got pistols, and we've got the actual rifles on the back there, grenade launcher and the normal LA-2s. Very nice indeed, so that's fine. And then into here. So down in this bag here, this is a multiple one. I'm not going to get all these out because we have got, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sprues of this. So this is just the hubs for the wheels. So as you can see, we've got all the, the interior of the actual tire hub down in here with the tire sizes and all the bits and pieces, the rings, and then obviously we've got the retention nut, things like that down in there. So you've got a good bag full of them to keep you going. I think they're all the same. Just want to check. Some of these have got the extra bit on as well for the actual locking nut. So that's fine. And then we've actually got, try and keep these somewhat in order. We've actually got the tyres, we'll do the tyres next. So again, a bag full of tyres, just like this. And again, really nice. Sometimes it's nice that they're actually plastic. They're easier to work with than rubber ones and things. So by the time you've hoofed them out in the middle, you've got those little areas in there that stop you over pinching it together. But you don't have to worry about seam lines in rubber tires to get rid of and stuff. The tread's very nicely done. And because it's injection molded that way, we've got no problems with that at all. So that's very good indeed. Okay, last up, another bag of bits. So down in here, we're expecting more multiples of. Uh, so we've got lots of fuel cans, various things as you might imagine. So again, we've got multiple of, so we've got jerry cans. Okay, so that's those down in there like that. And then we've obviously got ammunition containers. Lots of those as you might imagine, because there's actually a boatload of these all over the actual kit. So we've got multiples and multiples and multiples of, as you might imagine. We've got more of those, more jerry cans that you can shake a stick at and we've got more ammunition containers. Then we've got obviously something like the GPNG here, standard, got the bipod in there, charging handle, as you'd expect, all in one, and another ammo container. And that's it. You certainly get a lot of detail in a very small package, because let's face it, this thing is literally fits in the palm of your hand, but there's enough detail in this. With all of these sprues, as you can see, we bring these back in, how much you actually get is uh, phenomenal really that's uh, a really is a lot of plastic for such a small little vehicle when you're looking at that vehicle you know and uh yeah look, there it is that's literally the hole for it yet you've got all of this is going to go onto this to build up to be something extra special and again the great thing with gecko is that there's lots of other stuff out there so you've got figures on the ground you've got obviously medic ones support roll vehicles all of these different ones down into this so what really gecko have done have done that entire theater of operation so you make great dioramas with it or just stand their own little diorettes or just literally on their own as well the choice is yours and that's a wonderful thing about these kits anyway there we go that's it from me that's the gecko models 135th scale 80 mp wimmick